Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got quite the haul to share with you guys. It has been a while, so I've accumulated a bunch of stuff. I, this is more of a highlight reel. I am trying to do a little bit of volume here, but absolutely everything this video would never end. So some of the stuff I'm very excited about, um, a couple of more recent things, and the most incredible dress in the world. That is gonna be the very last thing I share with you guys, but don't worry, everything leading up to it is also very, very fabulous. So I have broken things up here into categories. And if you don't know already, my name is Ashley, shop owner of Decade Alchemy. And all of this is gonna be available to shop on either eBay or my Depop, because I do hard goods, clothing, and you know, a little bit of everything around here. So let's start off with the hard goods. You can always just message me directly. If there's anything that you're interested in, um, I can always do a little bit better via email as well. So hard goods, first piece. Let's start with a very exciting piece. You might be able to get a little sneak peek of it. Oh my God, not only is it just this though, I have a pair, there are a pair, I do only have two hands, matching candlesticks. And what is this, you might ask? It is Potosi. So it is beautiful pair of candlesticks. They do have the pricing still on there and some wax. I've got to clean these up. But this brown toned with these applied sort of like Majelica looking coins. Um, so the two candlesticks. It was so funny when I found one of them. It was actually used as a lid, which I, I actually kind of like that. Just the signatures on the bottom. So but then I took it off and I was like, oh. That's the other candlestick, because just one of them was found alone. Anyway, um, $6 each for these, hello. And then this was 15, everything was 40% off. So what is that total? 15 plus 12, 27. So I got a really good deal on all of this stuff. Potosi comps are a bit all over the place. I haven't seen anything look exactly like this. There's a couple of faint little marks there and on the coin, but nothing crazy. But I think that this could be a really good flip. And then I found this, and this is very interesting because you know the color, it's very mid-century. When I look at the bottom, it is signed um, Baldelli Italy. So it is an Italian piece of pottery. It's a little jar. I'm intrigued by this. I haven't taken the tape off. Maybe we should figure that out together. The lid doesn't fit snugly in there. So I'm not quite so sure about what's going on on there i gotta cut the tape and investigate further but there is also this very old piece of advertising on here so i think because the good piece of pottery with the advertising this could be a bit of a sleeper i don't really know what to do with this one because the baldelli comps as well as the potosi two italian potters um or ceramicists um they're a little bit all over the place. I did pick this up for $4.99, but I did think with the cross collectability of this old piece of advertising for merchants gargling oil, um, don't even really know what that is. I gotta dive a little bit deeper, but I was really excited about this piece for $4.99. Then I just picked this up today. This is really cute. It's a little wall hanging trivet. It's got the little hole already there. And this is by um, Lottie Norway. These don't go for a ton. like at most a $50 bill, but isn't the art on this just adorable? I think it is so cute in mid-century. It's got the blue and green tones. It reminds me so much of Laura Caldwell, as well as my Potosi pieces. I've been channeling her a little bit, and um, I just thought someone really liked this. I like that it's a nice large size, and it is in wonderful condition. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Okay, and then I found this piece, and this, I just went off total gut instinct. I really like the way that it's painted. I do like the amber glass. I noticed this after the fact, but there is a little artist signature. I'm sorry, I don't know if my ring light's totally blowing that out, but it's right there for you. And upon looking this up, it is actually a Spanish like wine decanter, I believe. That is the use of this. Originally, they do have a cork that goes here and then like a little bit of a chain piece. They're gorgeous and ornate. Um, the really pretty hand painted ones kind of go like in the $50, $60 realm. So I do think I might be able to fetch that for this piece, um, even with the missing parts. It is absolutely beautiful. So if you see anything like this, it kind of looks like a pipe or something like that. It's really interesting. I am just doing really brief little search here on eBay just to know a little bit more about it. I just discovered what it was. Let me see if I have any better descriptions here. It's called a Peron, so P-O-R-R-O-N. 
um, but this one is particularly beautiful. So I'm hoping to get a couple bucks for this guy. And that is it as far as hard goods. I have not had a ton of luck with hard goods. I'm very happy with the few that I have found, but nothing crazy, crazy. Let's talk about a couple of accessories and then I've sort of pieced this up. So I'm going to show the two accessories, show some stuff that I got for myself. I have a knit category, everything else, and the amazing dress. So I will just try to power through. Now this hat that I found, this is not usually something that I pick up, but it was just kind of staring me in the face. I think this is like a $30 hat. It is like a vintage one made in Taiwan, I believe 80s. It's got this kind of baseball style. This does need a little bit of a soak. It's just very, very lightly yellowed. No major stains or anything like that, but a cute little hat. Not my usual thing. I've got a couple things over here that are not my usual thing, um, but I'm trying just to spread my wings here with this reselling journey. Then I found this bag, Jill, if you're watching, from Heartbreak Vintage. This reminds me a lot of Jill. It is this 1980s genuine leather gold bag, great little bucket style, perfect size, holds everything that you need, a nice long strap. You can wear it crossbody should you choose, but it is gold, gold leather with gold studs, and that is just a dream come motherfucking true as far as I'm concerned. Then let's go through what I'm keeping for myself. It is just a very small selection. The more that you do this, the easier it is to be choosy. But I am a total belt girl. I like just Indian made things. I like the noise. And this is just a gorgeous belt. So this is just something that's totally adjustable. I'll just tie it around my waist, tie it real tight. It seems like it's going to be a good fit there and then I'll have a little extra texture and a nice little ching 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 and it's on a nice silk back. Really cool. It's got a natural patina to it. It looks killer on camera actually and this is just something that I would wear more often than you'd really think. Then I found this piece and oh my god if anyone out there that comes across this video has something like this I want more. I've already looked. It's by the brand Cinema Etoile, Etoile which I've had in the past, but this is just the most beautiful 1980s. It's meant to be a sleep top. You bet your ass I'm gonna be wearing this, and I have already worn it a bunch as just a going out outfit. So I just wear like a little nude bralette underneath. You don't even notice the difference just because this is completely transparent lace, but it's got that very flattering kind of 80s V in the front. It flares out. It looks great with a long line skirt underneath. I'm gonna be trying this on for you all, but I am obsessed with this piece, total new favorite in my closet. Um, then a really good staple piece that I picked up, I found a little black mini skirt. Some of the mini skirts that I have are just a lot more tight fitting than this one. This one's a little bit more relaxed on my body frame. It's a size four, which like, I'm not quite a two, I'm not quite a four. I like kind of live somewhere in the middle dependent on the brand. This has got a really flattering wrap style and I like that I don't feel like totally sucked in when I wear this because I like to feel free in my clothes. I've kind of noticed that the older I get so I'm leaning more towards a little bit more of the oversized things and I'm definitely more of a pants girl than a skirt girl. Just little things that you realize. But um, as far as skirts do go, this is one that I'm an enormous fan of. It's from the 90s. Look at the pattern. It's just covered in daisies. I mean, it's like the most 90s thing ever. Someone did cut out the original tag, so I'm so sorry. I don't know who was the maker of this originally, so you could find one of your own, but it fits me perfect. Really comfortable, nice type of just below the knee, very 90s grungy length. Looks great with just a t-shirt. You guys will see. I'm a big fan of that and that's going in the personal collection. And then finally, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this. I love this thing. This is the most 90s, early 2000s thing ever. I really like tank tops. I mean, I live in South Florida. It gets really hot. And this has got a little crocheted chickadee and it says one hot chick. Excuse this piece of fluff. Kind of drive me crazy. Rhinestoned. I mean, yeah. I If you don't know me at all, I like clothes that have a bit of a sense of humor. That being no exception at all. I'm a really, really big fan of that. So now that we are done with the personal category, let's jump on over to the knits category because I found quite a few cool knits that I think will be great to transition from winter to spring. Okay, starting off the knit category strong. This is a fabulous 80s long line crochet vest. It's got the little soutache details. We've got little zigzags at the arm. I'm usually not a gray girl, but I actually 
love this. I'm really into texture right now and because it is so warm here, even during these months, I know, can you freaking believe it? I like to layer and vests are like ping. I don't know why I was like associating with being nerdy or something before. I don't know, but this is so cool. It's almost bohemian in style, a little bit granny chic, but it's got all the right details to make it elevated. And that's what I love about this. And I will be trying these on so you can understand the full fantasy because I know the angle that I'm at and the way that I'm holding up, it has minimal appeal. Okay, moving on. Another knit piece that I found fantastic, 70s, slightly cropped number. It's tan, it's got the little detailing. This is a great piece to layer. If you had a turtleneck, this would look great just thrown right on top of it. Of course, looks fantastic on its own in the spring. And then it totally buttons completely so you could just wear it open and the layering opportunities are endless then this guy this is like you love it you hate it I'm a tacky girl to the day that I die so I love it but it is this very fabulous 80s parrot um, palm tree little sweater I love stuff like this it's kitschy it's fun this is in a slightly larger size yes it's in an XL um, and I am trying to be more mindful about accommodating as many people as possible so really just focusing zeroing in on making sure that is the case so that everyone can shop with me whether it be home goods clothing etc but this is fantastic it would also look great oversized if you are a smaller size and really in love with this piece but of course that's more of a summary piece I still will probably throw it up though because I don't follow the rules so I'm sure that there are plenty of people who do not and rounding off the knit category this fantastic cardigan I believe it to be homemade whoever did it was perfect there was also a yellow one but I decided to leave that one behind and this one's really cool because it's like a really cool kimono style so it's got these wider sleeves it's got the longer length I wish that there were some front pockets or something on it but it's just a good casual throw on piece in this killer sage green that I am crazy about. So let's move on to everything else, which is a lot. Then today I had a little bit, it's not a jackpot, it's just a handful of cool 90s tees. This is not usually something that I deal in, but they've been popping up at markets more. Obviously girls come with their boyfriends or just men come on their own. No big deal. I like to kind of have something for everyone, but of course t-shirts are unisex. But regardless, I want to just have more unisex because I love feminine statement pieces so much. So I found a couple of 90 shirts is what I'm trying to say. Sorry. And this is a Taz one. This is Taz holding a trophy with his face on it that says, I'd like to thank myself for this award. That is a 1996 Warner Bros shirt. It's got a killer little tag on it and I scooped that up for $4.99. In that same load, we clearly had a bit of a Disney fan here. I also got this Mickey shirt, nice purple color. There's Mickey chilling right up on top of the pocket there. Great uh, little tag on this guy as well. I absolutely love it. Made in the US of A. I don't know the exact year on this piece, but it's cool. Someone's gonna love it. This is a slightly older, but not very old. It's just on a more new Anvil blank. It's a Kiss t-shirt. I thought it's really cool the way the graphics kind of focus there up at the top. It's black. I think all of these are like an XL. Yeah, all of these are an XL. So again, a really cool unisex piece. You can't go wrong with a band tee. And then I did also find this other Taz. Whoops. This other Taz shirt, this is a cool one. It says Florida there on the bottom. Taz is looking pretty cool. And this one's 1995, which these are all look at like mint condition, by the way. It looks like these were never even worn. They're unfortunately not single stitch, but who really gives a damn about that? I'm sure some of you stumble across this video. But another thing that I found, um, I have mentioned several times, I'm so attracted to free people, but I know you cannot buy it exclusively. Um, I think they liquidate a lot of this stuff too, so you can see it very inundated online, but I didn't find this, and I also think this is gorgeous. This is from the Intimately Free People line. So this is meant to be like a sleepwear thing, but it's just a long line slip dress that I think this is the perfect thing to either wear to bed should you choose, or you could really gussy this up. It's a really silky soft. I th do think it is just polyester, unfortunately, but it's very lightweight, so it's not gonna be at all constricting. It's got a really pretty cross back on this guy as well, which I love, and I have thrown it on. It's an extra small, so it's a little tighter than I personally prefer on my body, but I do think that someone 
is gonna love that piece and the pattern and pastel colors are beautiful. Let's keep it pushing. I think some of you are going to flip for this piece and I kind of did too. It was $14.99, which that is like spendy for me, but I knew someone was gonna absolutely love this. It's a great 1980s red, white, and black kind of color blocked blazer. And that's fabulous in its own until you flip it around and it's fully sequined Moulin Rouge there in the back. I mean, it's gorgeous. The sequins are in fantastic condition. The blazer is in absolutely beautiful condition. It seems like it's barely been worn and this is just one of those special pieces. <gasps> I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought the security tag was on it for a second. It was just the button. Um, but anyway, this is just like a really special, kitschy, fun piece that I know the right person is gonna stumble across and just lose it. Staying on the 80s train, a fabulous 80s vest. Yes, she needs a bit of a bath. There's a couple little stains in the back that I do think I'm gonna be able to get out no problem. I just don't wanna compromise the fringe at all, so I may just spot conceal that guy, but look at the front. The front is mint, it's beautiful. It's got this lace kind of granny detail. The fringe going all the way down. It's killer, slightly cropped length, but then it makes up for it with those fringe. So really, really fun layering piece as always. You know I love that. And then I found another Todd Oldham piece. I found a Todd Oldham. This is the like subsector of Todd Oldham, like the cheaper diffusion line, but still it's got all the personality and style. Um, so the comps on this are very much all over the board too, but I just love this piece. Even if I got $30 for it, I'd be hyped. It does look like the back actually has some wear too. So might take this to the cleaners and see what I could do with it, but look at the front split green and red. Where was this on Christmas? Where I totally would have worn it during Christmas. There's the Todd Oldham tag to be on the lookout for. Still beautifully made. The buttons are missing a couple of rhinestones. That's an easy fix. They're just like little paste stones that I could just replace or remove entirely and then put new stones inside just so they are all uniform, but worth it to me. I do wish it fit me. It is a medium, so it's going to be a little bit big in the bust area, but if one of you has to have it, let me know. Crushed velvet perfection. All right, sorry if the camera angle is a little bit different. My camera shut off and then I was like, oh, maybe a wider angle would be better, but we're powering through. We left off on the fantastic Todd Oldham. Coming up is another banger. I wore this straight away when I grabbed it. Beautiful 80s. It's gonna look like nothing. It's all unbuttoned. This is a romper, so it looks like a beautiful little mini dress, but is actually a romper. It's in great shape. I love those pearlescent buttons. I love the neckline that's a bit more square and the perfect amount of shoulder pad because you know with the 80s it is always a dice roll. So this is actually supposed to be in my pile. I will probably hang on to it for a little bit but I could see myself parting with it. I don't know. I could see myself parting with just about anything. Like that's how you get a little desensitized. Um, but then I found this top and look at this. I mean a brown thermal with glitter cowboy boots on it? Yeah, and then I saw the tag. I mean, sold, 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 grab that for $2.99. It would be a sin to leave it behind. Then I found this guy. This was a really cool find. This kind of started my day off one, uh, one of these trips. I think I found this, the cowboy thing, and my next item that I'm gonna show you all on the same trip, and it's Alexander Wang a really cool Alexander Wang piece. What's fun about this is that it's not T by Alexander Wang, which is the diffusion line. It's just Alexander Wang, Alexander Wang. And it's a nice, simple piece that is well made with a cool stylized design. I see some sort of mark around the neck. I don't even know if it's picking up on camera. It almost looks like a watermark. I can kind of feel it too, but I think a little bleach bath will cure this baby and then she will be for sale. And then finally, this is the last piece before the amazing, actually, I'm gonna show you a pair of earrings too. So two more pieces and then the dress to end all dresses. So 1980s corset of dreams. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, like I wanted to scream at the top of my lungs. I am definitely gonna try this on. This is just not usually my thing, but like with high-waisted pants and a banging belt, at least once. It's beautiful. This is actually silk here on the outer edge. I just need to trim a little bit of some of the excess from the sequins and things like that. But look at that. I love that front little bit. This usually looks a bit better on someone who's a little bit more endowed, but found that in the lingerie section and I was like jumping up and down. 5 dollars 
Yes, please. And then the parrot earrings. I had to share these because I thought these were the cutest thing in the whole wide world. They are fully rhinestoned Betty Boop little dangles. And I know someone's going to flip for these. So if you want them, holler at your girl. All right, everyone. I am going to back the camera up. I need some room for this next one. Let's get it going. This is the big boy. Okay, so this is going to just be weird for a second, and then I'm going to break her free, and of course I will play B-roll of the actual piece. I just had to share with you that I found this, and what it looked like, let me just pass through, it was in a window like this, okay? So I'm seeing a neckline in here. I can't see a tag. I can't see anything, but the back of the box is this which says memories preserved museum style reservation. So I know what preservation, so I know whatever's in here is not a cheap little number. And I'm obsessed with gunny sax dresses. Um, I don't believe I've spoken about that on this channel because this channel's new. They're really beautiful 1970s dresses. I will sh throw up a couple of pictures here for you just for scale. Sorry, this angle is so awkward. Um, but I saw this hundred bucks on it. I was like, I know, and everything was 40% off. I was like, I know it's Gunny Sacks. This is worth it. This is worth it. The print is to die for. I'm not even gonna give it away because you're gonna see it. But just know I saw it through that window and I was like, holy shit. I just knew. I didn't need to see a tag, I just knew. Brought it up, rang me up. He only charged me $40 for it, okay? So instead of the 60 at 100 with 40% off, I got it for $40 and inside is the dr the most gorgeous dress that I've ever had my hands on. And this is a really expensive dress. I'm talking like a $700 dress. So are we ready, you guys? Got it for 40, let's set her free. And also I do think I can get more for this dress because of the fact that it was preserved and it has remained in this box, not the way that it was. Look, can you see that little authenticity thing right here? Very cool. And then here's dress oh my god oh my god this is where the b-roll will start playing actually let me just show you the front this is just what i saw with no tag and it is indeed a gunny sax and it is incredible fairy print there's fairies all over it the sleeves are huge with lace all around it to the floor nipped at the waist and in immaculate immaculate condition you guys I mean are you joking I let me get back here you know I just died so I am so happy to share, like, share that with you I hope that you guys are excited about that too I am gonna have my friend Michelle take some really killer pictures of me in it whoa sorry about that um because I need it to kind of be memorialized forever but I will be parting with it. She is going to go on eBay or Etsy or both, something like that. Um, and I hope that she finds a really, really good home, but I had to share it with you all. So that is it, everyone. That is my massive haul. That's about like two, two and a half weeks worth of finding. Um, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my exciting finds, I do have other videos where I found very cool things. I'm on a little bit of a roll because I'm trying to pursue this more full time. So if you want to shop anything, please make sure to email me. Check out my Instagram at Decade Alchemy. Check out my Depop as well. I'll have my eBay store down below, whatever you want. But most importantly, if you could thumbs up and subscribe, I upload a new video here every week, trying to even do more than that, just getting my footing with creating videos again. But I really hope that you enjoyed this one and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,